dignity means being comfortable in your own skin. And once you can do that, you can help other people to be comfortable in their own skin as well. Making someone else feel good is giving not only yourself dignity, but them dignity as well. Day of Dignity is meant for us to celebrate with our secondary students what dignity looks like in all shapes and sizes. So we talked a lot today about um, whether it be social, social economic, whether that be LGBT issues, homelessness, racism, you name it, it falls under the Day of Dignity. Because when students feel safe and included, that takes the extra stuff out so they can learn. And again, that helps achievement overall with all of our students. I really liked the interactions we had because they made us split up a lot. We didn't just sit there and talk with people from our school or people we're comfortable with. We got a whole bunch of different perspectives and I think that was really effective. I always felt like I'd never had a voice and so I wanted to take action on that so I tried joining student council and I did. And it felt really great to have someone comfortable enough to reach out to me and personally know that I've done something to help them. I have one friend that gets bullied a lot and I try to just help her whenever I can. She has an eating disorder too, so I've been helping her through some hard times. I took a lot of stuff with me, like clothes and stuff, and shoes to give to them down there because many people don't even have shoes to wear on their feet, and it made me feel really good to see all the kids happy. Here it's easy to open up about stuff, say whatever you need to. Everybody is willing to listen. It's not always the case. You can say that the stereotypes aren't true all you want, but until you actually do something to prove that that's what you actually believe, then you're not, you're not believing it yourself and you're not translating that to anybody else. Everyone needs to be on the same page, I think. Because you have worth. You have value. You have something to give to participate in the lives of others. And that's what dignity is. I really like what's going on today. I like the conversation that's going on and I like the style of sort of teaching. I think that was really good and it was very informative. Today we've been discussing a lot about uh, lack of education in our school and in the world in general and that most of the problems that we're having is just because that people don't know about what they're talking about and it ends up uh, coming out skewed and it comes out in the wrong way. It's not about changing their opinion because everyone has the right to their opinion and stuff like that, but it's about educating them, giving them a different view because there is less exposure um, considering like we are in small towns or just if you are set in one opinion, you don't want to ex explore another one. One discussion we were having at, during the Global Cafe was actually about how people just talk to each other just to respond. We don't talk to each other enough to actually listen to what the other person's saying and do anything about it. Like, someone could walk up to me right now and say, I don't have enough to eat, I'm hungry, and I'll say, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I won't do anything about it, and that's the problem that we really need to address. I think it's really cool because you gotta see, like, everyone's point of view, so, like, not just yours, like, from what your school was like, but also, like, the other schools as well. I just think you have to stop being a people watcher and start doing things because now that I know more about this, like I was using this example in the group in the tie room that when you get a new pair of shoes, you notice everybody else that has the same pair of shoes because you are all in that same boat. So when you start to realize that people are actually dealing with these things, I guess like it just makes you feel like you can help them and you want to help them. The most inspiring thing to me was that I got to sit down and talk to a couple of trans students and to hear their stories was a really cool thing to me. So anybody at any age can make a difference. They can raise someone's dignity. You can't just shove it in their face and expect them to understand what it is. But if you ask a thousand high school students to just jump into this fundraiser or organization that they know nothing about and they don't know anything about the background, then it's not going to work because there's not that drive or that like connection with it. So I really think that you just have to um, start small. I know when I say the three of us are all in the GSA, which is our school's Gay Straight Alliance, we're both in the Meet a Wee group, which basically it's a group where we try to reach out and help people. and. The biggest thing that our school has been doing with it is we've just been trying to get the awareness out there. This uh, should be an event, like a pre-game huddle, where 
you take these students who are excellent school leaders or can become excellent school leaders, you take them, tell them what to bring back to their school, and then they lead uh, the pack. But the, the Day of Dignity should be a, a mandatory event in the school where everyone is learning, you know, these five main principles about dignity. It needs to be everyone involved. So I think this day is really great for enlightening everyone on what actually goes on because I know my school is very stereotypical and there are a lot of things that could be changed by even having like a few of these people come to our school because it just it just spreads such awareness in a way that really breaks through to people. We really hear their true voices as students and once we get those authentic voices then we can really use those plans and use their ideas to help us do better in our days of dignity. Thank you.